specifically patients who come to me for cosmetic surgery of the breast are either interested in a breast lift, a breast reduction, or a breast augmentation. A breast lift surgery primarily uh, is designed to tighten the extra skin uh, that's been loosened in the breast and lift the nipple complex above the fold of the breast. It's uh, typically done without implants, uh, just with uh, the surgical incisions and removal of skin, and sometimes a little bit of breast tissue to tighten the breast and move it up higher on the chest wall. A breast augmentation surgery requires placing an implant. Uh, implants can be either silicone gel implants or saline implants. Most of our cosmetic patients tend to use the silicone gel implants. They have a more natural feel uh, and a more natural look uh, for patients. A breast lift procedure usually take about two to two and a half hours. Um, it's usually done under a general anesthetic and the recovery time is typically about two to four weeks. For a breast augmentation surgery, that surgery is typically done in about an hour. It, it's done uh, also under general anesthetic, and the recovery from that can be typically two to four weeks, but most patients it's about four weeks for full recovery. And the number one thing that we look at that determines whether a woman needs a breast lift or not is the placement of their nipple in relation to the undersurface of the breast or the fold of the breast. And as patients age, uh, if they've been uh, pregnant and then breastfed, if they've gained a lot of weight and then lost a lot of weight, then that nipple complex will start to descend below the fold of the breast. And once it does descend below the fold of the breast, typically a lift is required even if you put an implant in. I think that patients need to have a very clear understanding of where incisions go and what scars will look like. Certainly when you're doing a breast lift surgery, it's very important that patients don't come in with the idea that you can lift the breast without putting any scars on the breast because that's just impossible. Anybody that gets an implant will require some sort of maintenance surgery at some point in their lifetime. It, it's a known maintenance of having breast implants, but everyone should be educated about that before they get an implant.